there you're, you're checking it under the running condition when their gauges are different or shut off when you were checking them a while ago? Well, on this unit it's off. So the only thing I really can check on this unit is to see if it's equalized. Right. When the unit's running, it should not be equalized. Like, here, here's one where the compressor's broken and it's not running, but the fan is. So you turn the unit on and the fan kicks on. And in a trained ear, you're going to hear that. There's a noise the compressor makes that you'll know. And, but maybe you can't. Maybe it's loud. Maybe it's right next to an air conditioner and it's loud. So the fan's on, the air's blowing, but the customer's, the customer's saying, it's running, running, not heating. It's running, running, not heating. One thing I'll say is, is the air coming out cold? If the air's not cold, then there's no refrigerant moving to cause a heat transfer. So when you come out here, you know, you're thinking, you know, this is a possible compressor failure. Or did a rodent come in here and chew the yellow wire off? and the compressor not getting any power. So one thing you can check, by hooking the gauges up, if the fan's spinning and these gauges are equalized where well, your compressor's not running, they should be low and high while it's running. What sucks though is how do I check the, you know, that wire runs from there completely to the compressor. Yeah, so okay, there's, there's a trick for the compressor. Okay. One thing, if you have a, a breaker tripping or if you have like running but not heating, you can instead of, you can disconnect the wires here and see if it's still tripping the breaker. And if it's if the if it'll if the if you pull these two wires and leave the fan connected, turn it on the fan on run, you connect these two back up, it trips the breaker. And the only other place you can do it is go to the plug, pull the plug off the compressor, and see if it trips the breaker. Because maybe maybe now how do I get to that? Well, on the new one, you can reach up yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you pull it on and it's still tripping the breaker, the compressor might be fine. Might Maybe be the yellow wire was rubbing up against something that's short. Right. Something up inside the machine you can't see. You can replace this and, and keep going with your machine. You know, that, it's another thing where you can save the customer time and you know, keep them happy. So a, couple, few, a couple other things before we try to figure out how to get into the unit to work. <laughs> the, um, the, the 24 volt loop we stopped here. Um, if this has 24 volts, uh, this may or may not, depending on the last time it came on or off. Let's say you show up at a job and you're checking it, you've only been there three minutes and you're already in here and the voltage here. Well, maybe right before you pulled up, it had just kicked off on a cycle. So. This may or may not happen. Um, when I when I need to check to see if this thing has it, you can switch to continuity. You can do this for any of the actually any of the switches. Great, and we do that a lot. You know, for, for you can yeah, you can pull the wires off, and then you end up with this situation over here. I mean, we work on hot tubs too, so we do a lot of you know. I was testing with our. Pressure switches, thermostats. Right, that one's not um, open. Yeah, that's open because there's not enough pressure to activate it. Right. Um, yeah. This one should be off. These actually, they should all. This one, we can get this one to work. Yeah, that was. This is the only one we can get to work. That, that's the one too. Hear the click. You'll be able to hear that on the unit. And if if this thing is damaged, I've had ones where this plastic case here will crack, and it doesn't matter if you turn it all the way up or down. You don't hear that click, so it's not activating the switch. And that's the way you'll know. If, if you can't hear the click, then it's not going to go. I guess my question is is, is when we get to that first low pressure switch, if that low pressure switch, if we can't get the heat pump to turn on, what do we do? Uh, we're going through our 20, 24 volts. If you show up and you can't get it to turn on? That's right. And right. we don't That's have gauges to check it. Alright, so... Because I can tell you, we don't have three sets of you're gauges. You're going to be able to find out, you're going to be able to find out where you are. Is there a 24 volt here? Is right. it here? Right. Is it here? You know, where does it stop? Right. And like, and, and if, if there's no 24 volts here, that might be your problem. Right. If 
If it's not here, then this might be your problem. But I'm saying if we've got if you get down here and there's no voltage, that's right. Then this is your problem. And if you don't want to go any further than that, call your refrigerant guy and have him right. around. And he'll maybe it is just that, and he'll replace it. Okay. But if you did have gauges, you would be able to tell: is it actually the refrigerant, or is it a switch? switch? And so if it's a switch, you can replace it and get moving in your customer's. I can room. replace the switch, but how can I tell if it's? You can't if you don't have gauges. There you go. Did you hear that? Because you won't. Say, you won't know. You won't know if this is reading what it should be reading. And, and me jumping it, us jumping that damn thing out and getting it to start is not good. Well, if there's no refrigerant in there, and this thing is telling you there's no refrigerant in there, and you run it, right. it's not good for the compressor. Okay. Now, you probably can run 10, 15 seconds. Um, see but without gauges, so that's gauges what I'm saying. I'm going to know what you're talking about, about and they're calling me saying, what do I do? And I'm if saying... If you jump it out, it'll still turn on. That's not really, you still don't know. You still, you still don't know. know if it's this or this, so okay. you're really not accomplishing it. Okay. The guy still needs to come out your size if it's low refrigerant or if the switch is left. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. good for Steve. No, without, I just want to, you know, make sure that without the gauges, we can't tell if that switch is bad. The times when you want to jump it out is when you're thinking it's electrical. Okay. Um, and, and, and what you can do if you think, like, time delay is bad. Right. Or, and you just want to, like the water, you know the water's flowing because you hear the pipes, right. but maybe it's not enough to activate this. You can um, jump out wherever you are, right. or you can take this cap off and push, push the because down Because anyway. Mark's not standing here, but Mark's real big at jumping stuff out and, and seeing if it works. As long okay. as you know what you're jumping out, that's why you're doing <laughs> If you engage the contactor, if you engage the contactor and you turns on and you feel cold if only you let it run long enough to feel cold air. Right. It's like 10 seconds. Right. If you feel cold air and you're like, alright, refrigerant wise, this unit's running. Right. Something electrical is keeping it from starting. Okay. I just want to when you were gone I asked him, without a set of gauges, if we've got power coming to here and it stops, if we have 24 volts and we suspect it's either this switch or the the refrigerant we cannot diagnose the problem unless we have gauges. We, we have the gauges to the old gas, the, right. the 22, I guess. Yeah, if you hooked up the R22 gauges, you'd be able to tell by where it is and what this is doing, if this is bad or if it's not for you. Okay. If you, well, was R22 used the last 20, 30 years? Yeah. So, I know they're pretty old, I think. You know. yeah. But you'd be pretty safe if you're... It says on the gauge it's R22 or not. I have in the back truck all the Yeah, I, I, I just. Are they different than this? I think it's the only thing I think they're out. My only thing is, is if the three of us are out in the field, you have that three sets of gauge. Exactly. Or what you can do is by taking your symptoms from your customer, if it's sounding an electrical problem, then whoever doesn't have the gauges go. But if it, it's sounding like the pipe might be refrigerant, right. whoever has the gauges goes on. We're just going to work or give it to whoever work around. That's all. I just I just want these guys to know that they're not going to. Do you guys go in the shop every morning? Yeah. Okay, so the gauges stay in the shop then. Yeah. And whoever's going on the one that sounds like might be pretty. Maybe you need it, maybe you don't. Hmm. Question. Just pass it around. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to get clear in my mind the process of how we're going to do this. If this is what you know, if this is the direction we're going, then obviously. You know, we need to know what to do. All you're really trying to do for you guys, since you don't do refrigerant, is to be able to change these two switches for okay. the customer right on the spot without having to call the refrigerant guy come out. Oh, and I agree, because I absolutely hate the fact that someone has a, something that we sell, we go out there, and we, we're out there, well, we can't fix it, we got to call. You know, it's like, oh, right. You know, we have dealers all over Florida that they don't, they don't do any servicing. We have a service company, and when they go, they would, they're the same, but they, the first thing they're doing is checking everything we're talking about. Right. But it's a little different. <coughs> you guys are trying to save your customers some time and money. And yeah. Buy, and plus, they want to they they work it now. Exactly. I want what I want, and I want it now. I have a graduation this weekend. Tomorrow. 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 Yeah, today, it's Friday at 3 o'clock. That's right. My daughter's getting married tomorrow. Yeah. We're going to have a party. It, it happens all season. There's, there's, um, yeah. 